Welcome to the network segment of building a multi-tiered cloud application. In this segment, we will deploy three cloud networks for our demonstration application. Additionally, you will be introduced to the gear, which allows configuration of various aspects of a cloud network. Once you have registered for an OpSource cloud account, you are ready to log into the cloud management GUI located at https colon slash slash admin dot opsourcecloud.net. To begin deploying our application, we must first configure a cloud network. At a minimum, one network is required to deploy servers into. In this case, we will deploy three networks, one for each of our application tiers. We select the Clouds tab and then simply click on Deploy Network. We supply a name and optional description for the cloud network and then click Deploy. This is repeated for each of our three networks. The creation of each network takes approximately 30 seconds, so we'll fast forward to the point where all three cloud networks have been created. The OpSource Cloud utilizes Cisco hardware for all networking. Each cloud network is a unique VLAN on the infrastructure assigned to the client's account and is isolated from other networks on the account until NAT, load balancing, and access control lists are established. Now that we have our three networks, Let's take a brief look at the gear. Clicking on the gear icon will bring up the Manage Network dialog box for that cloud network. From here, we see private and public IP address ranges that have been automatically assigned to our cloud network. Located on the bottom of this box are the various options we can configure and edit for this network. Properties allows you to edit the name and description of the network as well as enable and disable multicast. Public IPs allows you to manage public IP address ranges assigned to the cloud network. You may add additional public IP space from this dialog box. Additionally, you may enable server to VIP functionality, which enables virtual IPs assigned to the network to service traffic from the servers on that network. This is disabled by default. Access Control List, or ACL rules, allow us to permit and deny access to the public addresses assigned to our VIPs and NATs. By default, the web and SSL web ports are allowed access to the servers on this network once they've been assigned a NAT or are included in a VIP. ICMP is also allowed by default. Additionally, there are two default denials that are in place to prevent outbound mail services from servers on the network. These may be removed once the OpSource client has been verified. Removal of these rules means that the client accepts responsibility for operating SMTP mail servers on the network. We will demonstrate how to set up ACL rules in another segment of this series. Virtual IPs, or VIPs, are used to enable load balancing of the servers on a cloud network. As part of our demonstration, we will cover the creation of VIPs in a latter segment. And finally, Network Address Translation, or NAT, allows us to map one of our public IP addresses to one of the servers on our cloud network. We will also demonstrate this feature in the NAT segment of our series. This concludes the network segment of Building a Multi-Tiered Cloud Application.